everybody, thanks for tuning in today, let me clean this lens. Um, we're just back from a holiday, it's just maybe within the last half hour. So we've started putting our cases and stuff away, we've come back out, the garden's a mess. And uh, unfortunately we've come back to the sad news of our wee rabbit passing whenever we were away on holidays. Um, so we're back to a wee empty cage. There you go, that's where she used to stay. She had a wee tartan blanket in there and she had lots of straw. She did her wee poopies down in that there thing there. And, uh, I sad to just come back to. And, and Bella, Bella got a run of the garden. Every day that cage was open and she had the whole garden to run. Um, yeah. And weirdly, she never ever stepped up past the wood. She, remember she did it one time, yeah. there was snow on it? Yeah. She did it one and time. She maybe just went up to about here. She did. She went up to there and says, no, I don't like it. On, it must have been. She's always been used to grass, so she's always been used to either this artificial or prior to that, but getting done, she had the, the actual real grass. So, um, we did well for the last eight years with that wee rabbit. Um, she run about every day. We got a dog just over a year ago, and we gradually just built them up until they were both accepting each other, and in the last six weeks, they were out playing in the garden, you'll see some of the videos, they've been out playing in the garden together, sniffing each other and just doing their own thing. Uh, Cocker Spaniel, Marley, she just kind of doodles about and I think she's feared her, she was anyway. But it'll be interesting when we get her back today to see what she makes of it all, going, you know, where's Bella? So anyway, thank you Bella, great wee rabbit, we adopted her and in the early days she just didn't like human contact. The story was that she was with a young family prior to us getting her and I think the kids were maybe a wee bit rough. <laughs> well rough, maybe they just wanted to play with her too much and it scared her. Um, so when we got her she just was not very interested in human contact. I would say it took maybe 18 months to break down the allowing to you know, stroke her and doing things like that. So yeah, um, lovely wee rabbit. I felt that she was great for me for de-stressing. See if I was in the office working and I felt like stressed out, I'd come out for a wee minute, sit on the wee seat and she would come over beside you and you would give her a wee rub. And uh, I, it just felt like as if I was de-stressing, you know. But anyway, back for holidays, going to get this whole place tidied up, going to obviously get rid of um, the cage. I don't think it's not even worth giving it to anybody. It's starting to. I was going to actually. I got chicken wire and I was going to re chicken wire it, so I was, but that's now gone. So we'll, we'll get the garden all tidied up. We'll get furniture all set out. Maybe do a wee bit of change, house things. This hut's going to go eventually. Um, it's Wendy's wine hut. It's going to go and we're going to build a bigger, bigger, more permanent one right out there. The gold's going to be there, son. We're going to be making, taking a wee bit of that grass. And there'll just be enough to get in and out with the bike, so that's the plans. Um, come give it a good, I thought you were trying to kick that Give it a good pie. rifle. <laughs> He's useless. Go again. Yeah, get in there. Drop in, give it a couple of jobs. We can see this. You have to do the juju. Right, do you want to say any wee words about Bella before you finish up here? Rabbit. She was a good yeah. rabbit, wasn't she? She loved him. She used to come. She used to come and sit here. She just a bit here, and she used to stare in the back door. When she heard me coming, and then you would have come out to her, and then she just she would have just wanted rubs, really, to be honest. Uh, you always rubbed her down in the neck, didn't you? Oh, I loved her. She loved getting see see wee rubs like that down in the back of her neck. Um, she didn't like her sides touched. Um, well, she used to go, you know, she used to bend. If you went and rubbed her side, she would move away as if she didn't want it. Um, she liked her wee head rubbed. So anyway, thanks to Bella. I, I believe she'll be still bouncing about this garden in the afterlife. She'll be a wee spirit, a wee ghost, ghost rabbit. And she'll be bouncing about. I wouldn't be surprised to see them balls moving. She used to play with the balls. Then she used to get the balls out and she used to push them around the garden. With her side. With her head. Right, magic. We'll have to look back all over the memories now, off of all the videos. We'll maybe put up a few more videos. 
see what you think. Anyway, go uh, get stuff done here. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry about the sad news, but do you know what? It's not really that sad. It's it's happy news because do you know what? She was getting old. She was eight years old. She probably out, outstayed her welcome in a lot of ways in regards to most rabbits. Um, I think they, they're probably age six to eight. I think that's what I'd read anyway. So she really got the, the, the latter end of the scale. Um, Alfie's going to now do this with the pneumatic George. And then I'm going to do it with a cart chair and just give it all a good clean. I've got artificial grass cleaner around there. And uh, then we'll need to get this decking and all painted. And over there in the back, I'm going to build a, a big barbecue area. I'm going to put in a, a pizza. pizza. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, tr I'm still trying to design it in my head. But um, I'll get there. I know what I want. And I want what I know. Alright, thanks. Catch you. Subscribe, like, follow, comment. See ya.